In this video, we're going to talk about using the Thrive Table Layout screen. To start, click on the table screen. Here you'll see a graphical representation of your restaurant's layout. To start an order, just click on the table. At this point, your hostess can enter in the number of people and can choose a server and just mark the table as seated. You'll notice the server's name, the number of people indicated on the table, and this little green thumbs up sign, which means that the table has been seated. You can set alerts so that this will turn red if the table's been seated but has not had an order placed. Now if you don't have a hostess and you just want to start uh, an order immediately, you can do that as well. All you have to do is click OK and go to your menu. We have server banking set up, so when we hit finish, we return to the table screen with the order saved. Now you'll see on this order uh, that the table is assigned to me, um, and the green uh, menu screen here shows that this customer has ordered food. Again, this will turn red after a certain amount of time that you've set to indicate that the customer needs attention. To start an order for this seated table, We'll just recall it and hit OK, and then we can add um, some items to their order. You'll see now the order status has changed to ordered. You'll notice I have some different functions at the bottom here that I can use um, on any recalled order. So I can choose to split the order, transfer it, um, add a tip to it, reprint it, etc. Since I'm using uh, server banking, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and settle this order. We'll just settle it um, to cash. And now you'll notice that this table has a dollar sign. This is an optional setting. You can have it automatically clear after settle, or you can leave this status as settled. Um, and then you'll click it and you'll manually clear it when it's ready to be seated again. Another thing you can do from this screen is reserve a table. That just indicates that the table is reserved. To unreserve it, just click it. If you're using server banking, you'll also have access to server details from this screen. This shows all of the tickets assigned to that server, as well as important status about the day. From here, you can also um, perform various banking, um, assigning bank drops, transfers, and of course, you can close the server shift. If you prefer to have your customers close their orders out at the register, you can still use this screen. We'll just set the configuration for table orders to not use server banking and to allow tickets to close at the register. Now, when I recall this order and hit finish, I'll pay into the register and you'll see that order is now automatically cleared. The table screen is a powerful and easy way to manage your server's banking and table status.